Welcome to Classy's Curiosity Chronicles. Have you ever pondered the powerful connection between music and our minds, especially for those dealing with ADHD? This isn't just a rhetorical question, it's an invitation to explore a fascinating intersection of neurology and melody. In our world today, ADHD, short for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is a prevalent condition. It's like living in a whirlwind where information whirls around and around, making it challenging to focus, organize, and complete tasks. But here's where our melodious hero, music, steps in. Now you might be wondering, how does music help? Well, think of music as a soothing lullaby for the brain, especially a brain that's constantly on the go. It's like that calming cup of chamomile tea you sip on a stormy night, except here, the storm is inside the mind, and the tea is your favorite tune. For individuals with ADHD, music has proven to be more than just a pastime or a hobby. It has become a tool, a strategy, almost like a secret weapon, to help manage the symptoms. It's a brilliant example of how sometimes, the best solutions are the ones that engage our senses and connect with our emotions. But it's not just any music that does the trick. There's a science to it. Specific genres, rhythms and even the tempo can make a world of difference. That's right, folks. There's a method to the musical madness, and it's as intricate and beautiful as a symphony. And that's what we're here to explore. Over the next few scenes, we're going to take you on a journey through the science behind the beats, the role of rhythm, and how different genres play their part. We'll look at how music is used as therapy, and how it can help turn the cacophony of ADHD into a harmonious symphony. So, ready to embark on this sensory adventure? Great! Let's delve into the fascinating science behind how music can help those with ADHD. Music, it's more than just a pleasing arrangement of sounds. It's a science, particularly when it comes to the ADHD brain. Ladies and gentlemen, let's embark on a journey into the fascinating world of neurochemistry, where music plays the lead role. You see, when we listen to music, our brain lights up like a Christmas tree in December. It's a full-blown fiesta of neurochemical activity. The star of the show is dopamine, our brain's reward chemical. This little neurotransmitter is responsible for all the feels of pleasure and satisfaction. When we listen to music, dopamine is released in our brain, making us feel good. It's like our brain's way of saying, hey, I like this tune, let's play it on repeat. Now in the ADHD brain, dopamine levels are typically lower. This can make it harder to focus and concentrate. But here's where music comes in. By boosting dopamine levels, music can help improve these cognitive functions. It's like a natural stimulant, no prescription needed. But dopamine isn't the only player in this symphony. Enter norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in attention and alertness. When we're engaged in a task that we find interesting, our brain pumps out norepinephrine, helping us stay focused. And guess what? Music can help increase norepinephrine levels too. Now let's add a pinch of serotonin to this mix. Known as the happy chemical, serotonin contributes to our mood and well-being. Low serotonin levels can lead to feelings of anxiety and depression. Music, with its soothing beats and harmonious melodies, can stimulate the release of serotonin, helping to lift our mood and create a positive mental environment. But the science of music and the ADHD brain doesn't stop at neurotransmitters. There's also the matter of brain waves. Our brain operates on different frequencies, depending on what we're doing. When we're in a focused state, our brain is typically in the beta wave frequency. Listening to music can help sync our brain to this frequency, promoting better focus and concentration. And then there's the impact of music on our stress response. Music, especially slower tempo music, can lower cortisol levels, our body's main stress hormone. This can have a calming effect, helping to reduce anxiety and promote relaxation. It's like a soothing balm for our overactive minds. So you see, music isn't just a form of entertainment. It's a powerful tool that can influence our brain chemistry and cognitive functions. And for those with ADHD, it can be a game changer, helping to improve focus and concentration, reduce stress and anxiety, and promote overall well-being. Isn't it incredible how a simple tune can change the landscape of our minds? Ever found yourself tapping your foot to a beat? That's rhythm working its magic, especially for those with ADHD. Rhythm, my friends, is a powerful tool in music. It's the heartbeat of a song, it's pulse. It's the thing that makes you tap your foot, bob your head or sway your hips. But it's not just about getting your groove on, it also plays a crucial role in helping us focus. Now, let's talk about ADHD. For those with ADHD, the brain is often buzzing with a hundred different thoughts, making it challenging to stay on task. 
Here's where rhythm steps in like a superhero. It provides a steady, predictable structure that the ADHD brain often craves. It's like a rhythmic roadmap guiding the brain through a maze of distractions. Imagine you're in a bustling city with no street signs. That's what it's like for the ADHD brain trying to navigate through a day. Now, imagine that same city, but with rhythmic street signs guiding your way. That's the power of rhythm. It provides a sense of predictability and structure, helping the ADHD brain stay on task. You see, our brains are wired to respond to rhythm. It's a fundamental aspect of our biology. Our heartbeats, our breathing, even our sleep patterns are all rhythmic. When we listen to music with a consistent rhythm, it can help synchronize these natural rhythms, creating a calming effect that can help us focus. Moreover, rhythm can also help with memory. Ever noticed how much easier it is to remember the lyrics of a song than a paragraph from a textbook? That's because our brains link information to the rhythm of the music, making it easier to recall later. And it's not just about the beat. The tempo, the speed of the rhythm also plays a significant role. A slower tempo can help calm the mind, while a faster tempo can help energize it. That's why you might find a slow rhythmic piece of music helpful when you're trying to concentrate on a task. So remember, rhythm isn't just about dancing, it's about focusing too. From classical to techno, music genres are as diverse as our tastes. But did you know certain genres can help with ADHD more than others? Let's take a fascinating journey through the world of music genres and discover how they can influence our focus and concentration, particularly for those of us with ADHD. First stop on our musical tour, the grand and graceful world of classical music. It's been the subject of numerous studies, and the consensus seems to be that the complex structures and soothing sounds of classical pieces can promote a calm mind, enabling better focus. Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, these maestros knew a thing or two about creating harmonious vibes. Next, we venture into the realm of jazz. While it may seem chaotic at first listen, jazz's intricate rhythms and improvisations can actually stimulate our brains in unique ways. This genre encourages active listening and keeps our minds engaged, perfect for those moments when focus seems to be playing hide and seek. Moving along, we find ourselves in the pulsating world of techno and electronic music. The repetitive beats and absence of lyrics in techno can provide a consistent auditory backdrop that helps drown out distracting thoughts. But remember, it's all about personal preference. If you find techno more jarring than joyous, it's not the genre for you. Our next destination is the soothing soundscape of ambient music. With its slow tempo and lack of percussive beats, ambient music can create a tranquil environment conducive to concentration. It's like a warm, auditory hug that wraps around you, providing a safe space for your mind to focus. And last but certainly not least, we have the genre of nature sounds. Not technically a music genre, but we'd be remiss not to mention it. The gentle soundtrack of a babbling brook, rustling leaves or chirping birds can have a calming effect, helping to reduce stress and enhance focus. Now, you might be wondering, why do some genres work better than others for focus? Well, it's all about the rhythm and structure. Music that has a predictable steady beat and lacks distracting elements like complex lyrics or sudden changes in tempo can help create a sort of auditory guardrail for our minds. This guardrail can keep our thoughts on track, making it easier to concentrate on the task at hand. But remember, everyone's brain marches to the beat of its own drum. So while classical music might be one person's perfect productivity playlist, another might find their focus with techno. The beauty of music is its vast variety. There's something for everyone. So next time you're struggling to concentrate, remember to tune into the right genre. It might just be the key to unlocking your focus. And who knows, you might discover a new favorite tune along the way. Music isn't just for entertainment, it's a powerful form of therapy too, especially for those with ADHD. Now you might be thinking, music? Therapy? How's that going to work? Well, let me tell you, it's not about hopping on the dance floor and busting some moves, although that does sound fun. It's about the therapeutic connection between music and our minds and how this connection can help manage ADHD symptoms. Music therapy is a clinical and evidence-based health practice that uses music interventions to accomplish individualized goals. It's like your personal trainer, but instead of lifting weights, you're engaging with music. And the best part? There's no wrong note or rhythm. It's all about how you connect with the music. Now let's take a moment to talk about some of the amazing people who have benefited from music therapy. Take the story of Sam. 
Sam was struggling with focus and impulsivity, classic symptoms of ADHD. But when Sam started engaging with music therapy, things started to change. Sam found that drumming to a certain rhythm helped to increase focus and reduce impulsivity. It was like the drumming created a rhythm for Sam's thoughts, helping to organize them and keep them in check. Or consider the tale of Alex. Alex was dealing with hyperactivity, another common symptom of ADHD. But when Alex started to sing, it was like the hyperactivity was channeled into the music. Alex found that singing was not only a way to express emotions, but also a way to manage energy levels. These stories illustrate the power of music therapy. It's not about curing ADHD, it's about managing symptoms, improving quality of life, and providing a therapeutic outlet for expression. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed, or your thoughts are racing a mile a minute, remember, music can be your ally. It can help you to focus, to calm down, to express yourself. So when words fail, remember music speaks. We've traversed the fascinating terrain of music and ADHD. Now let's recap what we've learned. Our journey began at the crossroads of ADHD and music. We discovered that music, with its rhythm and beats, is more than just a sweet melody to our ears. It's a powerful tool that can help those with ADHD focus better, manage their symptoms, and even improve their cognitive function. Then we plunged into the scientific depths, exploring how music affects the ADHD brain. We learned that music stimulates the release of dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter in the brain. This helps to improve concentration and reduce impulsivity, common challenges for those with ADHD. As we journeyed further into this captivating world, we delved into the crucial role rhythm plays. Rhythm, the heartbeat of music, is key to its effect on ADHD. The steady beats, the predictable patterns, they all help to create a calming, organized space in the mind, making it easier for those with ADHD to focus. Our exploration also took us across different musical genres, and we found that not all music is created equal when it comes to ADHD. Classical music, with its soothing melodies and lack of lyrics, is particularly beneficial. But other genres like jazz, ambient, or even certain types of electronic music can also be effective, depending on individual preferences. The penultimate stop on our journey was the realm of music therapy. We learned that music can be a form of therapy for those with ADHD, helping them express themselves, manage their emotions, and improve their social skills. We discovered that music therapy is not just about listening to music, but also about making music, which can be a fun and engaging way to manage ADHD symptoms. As we wrap up our musical journey, we need to remember one thing. While music can be a great aid in managing ADHD, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person might not work for another. It's all about finding the right rhythm, the right melody that resonates with you. So don't be afraid to experiment with different genres, different beats, until you find your own personal symphony. So remember, when dealing with ADHD, don't underestimate the power of a good tune. After all, in the symphony of life, we are all unique instruments. If you'd like more information for your curious mind, please subscribe.